Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about a few things. I'm going to be talking about the Tower 28 Sculptino bronzers that just came out. This is in the shade Broad. Sorry if it's being reflected by the light here. I also have the new Jones Road bronzer in the shade Light Tan. And I have the One Size Cheat Clapper Blush Trio in the sold out shade Attention Seeker. So if you wanted to see how I got this look and what I think about these products, then just keep watching. All right, so as you can see, I have my foundation done, I have my powder done, concealer, contoured the nose, which looks crazy right now because I don't have anything else on my face, but let's get into it so i do have two bronzers that i wanted to show um these are both brand new so i think the way i'm going to do it is i'll do jones road which is in the shade light tan maybe on my forehead and then on my cheeks after but i'll do this one just on my cheeks so this is the tower 28 sculptino these are new this is in the shade broad so these are bronzers they did have one and it looks very cool, maybe not, maybe it looks kind of warm in here, but in person it looks more cool, but once you put it on the skin, it's a little orangey, so yeah, I don't know if I'm keeping this one, but yeah, we'll get into it. So I think I'll start with the bronzer. So I believe this is supposed to be a sheer bronzer, but it's very buildable. So this is in the shade, like I said, light tan. Um, they do have a little bit more of like a rosy tone to them. Um, I know there's one lighter than this one that's like very rose. I think it's called Dusty Rose maybe. Um, the one thing I was disappointed in, so I tried it and I really like it, spoiler. Um, there's only 5.7 grams of product in here. Like that seems a little ridiculous. This was like 60 bucks Canadian with shipping and everything. Like, please, that is not good. Okay, let's just, just for comparison's sake, this is huge, but just to show, this is the LA Girl Matte Bronzer. 15 grams of product, okay? 15. So, like, almost three times that. Also, let's just, just for comparison's sake, Glowish is 8 grams of product. do a little infallible comparison you can see that this is a very well loved hit pan already this is nine grams so for the price do i think it's worth it i don't know that's up to you but in my opinion probably not because i just think like if you're going to be paying that much you may as well get something that's gonna last you a long time and again like with the NARS powder I can kind of see the rings of the pan and I'm like how much product am I actually gonna get out of this because that scares me so okay so we're going in on the forehead like I said I'll do the I might actually open a window so you can see a little bit better I'll do the tower 28 on the cheeks and then maybe layer this bronzer over top just so you can see what it looks like on its own and then layered give me one second okay sorry so i just opened my blinds and whew, it's bright outside so i'll go back in with the jones road and i'm the kind of person who likes a sufficient amount of bronzer so because it's sheer you're gonna have to keep going in and building if you want a decent amount of color payoff so again, the fact that you're going in and that it's sheer means you're going to go through it pretty quick if you're anything like me. And I don't know, that kind of makes it not worth it. But if you're like a crazy bronzer person and you have a lot and you don't mind that there's not a lot of product, then it's beautiful. Like it lays on the skin so beautifully and the tone is perfection 
Like that does look like my natural tan. And I wore this one day. I think I wore the first day I wore it. My fiance's like, why do you look so tan today? And I'm like, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay, so Tower 28. I will go in with my It Cosmetics all over brush. Is that what it's called? I can't be it. I'm not sure what the number is. Sorry, I thought there was a number on it. Don't know. Looks like this. Okay. And I just tap it right on in. It is really nice. Like it blends really easily. I don't know, maybe it's not that orange. Looks kind of nice actually. <laughs> the only thing is, and I know this, so I don't know why I do this, but it's like I know I don't love balmy textures because I'm oily. So throughout the day, it'll make me look oilier than I am. Even if I set it with a powder. Okay, so that's the Tower 28. Okay, I actually kind of like it right now. But on my forehead, I just felt like it was a little too oily. I like a powder on the forehead. Or a cream bronzer like the NARS one. That is like a cream to matte. Because that... You know, it kind of sets down. It doesn't look oily and stay that way. I don't know what's going on with my cheek, but I have like... It's weird. It's almost like a sleeping line or something. And it just totally disturbs the way my makeup looks on my cheek. I don't understand what this is. But it's not on this side. And I sleep on both sides, so I don't know what is going on. But yeah. Okay, so kind of ignore this side. This is what it actually looks like. Very smooth. And I'll just go in underneath the chin and the jawline. Sorry I didn't make a video last week. It was chaotic. Like, absolutely chaotic. It started out with us bringing our dog to the vet at, on, I think when was it Wednesday at like three in the morning so I guess it was like Thursday by that point at 3 a.m because she couldn't stop getting sick and this has happened before we actually just had her on medication because she had a bacterial infection rhymes with cholesterol or sounds like cholesterol I can't remember I don't know if it was colostridia or something like that I can't remember but um she had like a lot of diarrhea and was throwing up and we're like okay this is unlike her if she like usually if she gets sick it's like one time and that's it and then we're good and then she's fine and then she's back to eating and normal and everything well she was getting sick a while back and I'm just blending this out there's this was like the NARS powder that I used on this powder brush so she was getting sick quite a bit and then she was fine she stopped throwing up and then she was back to normal and then a few days later she had diarrhea and we're like okay what is going on and like we were up all night with her like literally all night luckily my boss was pretty chill and she was okay with me like taking a half day and oh it was just it was a lot so we brought her in and she got treated for the bacterial infection. We're like, okay, thank God it wasn't anything serious. It was just maybe something she ate or whatever. And then um, after she was done her medication, she was getting sick again. And we're just like, I can't handle this. It was, I think it was midnight and I was up until like 2.30. And finally, I'm just like, this is it. I'm taking her in because this is not normal behavior and she didn't want to eat and she always wants to eat so something was up brought her back in um they said okay well we can give her more antibiotics maybe the infection's just not gone yet and they said or we can test her blood levels and see if 
something else is going on and I'm like well I don't want to do this again so <laughs> let's just see what else is going on because this seems weird normally if she's ever had an infection she's taken antibiotics and it's gone away and this time like it wasn't going away and I just found that strange I don't know it's like if you have a pet and you're like a dog mom you just like know when something is wrong with them or they're not acting themselves I know that sounds weird because it's a dog and not a child but same instinct like you just know something is off my fiance is like no she's fine like mm, I don't think so so brought her in I said do all the blood work you have to do because I want to know what's going on so we bring her in or they do the blood work basically to test her if she still had the the bacterial infection it was like a couple hundred bucks if we did the whole testing of the blood it was 900 bucks i'm like this is insane like this is actual robbery like how do you expect people to take care of pets like i know don't get a pet if you don't have money but also there's so many pets that need saving and like vets need to just be cheaper because this is crazy and i know you're probably gonna be like get insurance i had insurance and insurance didn't cover diddly squat i remember one time they were like oh she has a bladder infection no that's a pre-existing condition it's like a bladder infection is not a condition it's just an infection what the shit so okay fast forward she gets the blood work her blood work comes back everything was like pretty normal and then her liver enzymes were over a thousand and they're supposed to be at 150 and we're like well that's not okay and this is the second time that this has happened she used to be on these pills for incontinence because she's she pees all the time and she has since we've gotten her we like rescued her we didn't re personally rescue her i hate when people say that we adopted her she was a rescue she came from california Sorry, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna try the new blush by one size. Sorry, I keep talking so much. This is in the shade Attention Seeker. I believe this is sold out right now, but I think it was still on their website. So check it out. Um, so this is the second time this has happened. We had her on these incontinence pills. I think it's called Stilbestrol. And then she ended up with toxicity. She was in the hospital for two days. She was on an IV drip. We got everything back to normal. We put her on a venti, which are liver enzymes. And we got her liver enzymes down to like 200. So we're like, okay, we're probably in the clear, like 150, 200. Like it's very close. They're still elevated, but whatever. So then they're like, well, let's also do an ultrasound because we want to make sure it's not cancer. And I'm like, well, yeah, okay. Obviously, I want to make sure it's not cancer. So they quoted me, after they saw the liver enzymes, they quoted me how much it would cost to keep her in the hospital, but also how much it would be, going in with an e.l.f. brush, this is the putty blush brush, I think, yeah, and I'm going in with the cream. Um, so they, they're like, well, it's going to cost about, oh my god, this is frightening, <laughs> oh, this is very purple. Oh my god, I don't know about this. Okay, maybe it's okay. I don't know. Um, quoted us $3,300 to do the ultrasound, keep her overnight on IV fluids. What am I going to say? No, I'm not going to keep my dog here. Like, uh, I can't let her die. Like, obviously, it was bad enough. Her enzymes are high enough to the point that they have to hospitalize her so what am i gonna do be like um yeah never mind i'm just gonna bring her home and do nothing i know some people probably would do that because they can't afford it which i totally get i don't just have all this random cash laying around to just do this like you know so Anyways, I was already there and I didn't want to wake my fiance up. He was sleeping. He didn't even know like anything that was going on. I'm bawling my eyes out at the vet because I mean, I don't want her to die. I don't want her to have cancer. I'm just like, what the hell? Do what you got to do. Like, 
yes, keep her here. And I hate leaving her because I know she's probably scared going in with the second powder shade, uh, Makeup by Mario F2. And so, I don't know about this blush, guys. I thought I liked it, but now I think it's a little bit too baby pink. Is that possible? <laughs> I don't know. It's the first time I'm using it. I put it overneath, oh, overneath, over top of a blush yesterday, and I liked it, but ooh, I don't know about this. Mm. Scary. Okay, so they do the test, they do the ultrasound. I end up leaving her for. What I thought at first was going to be 24 hours, because they said we'll check in 24 hours again her liver enzymes and see if she's okay to come home and we'll give you like antibiotics, etc. They did the ultrasound. They said the ultrasound looked good, which I was just like praying and praying that she would be okay, that she didn't have cancer. They said it doesn't look like there's any cancer there. She does have a tiny little nodule on her liver. They said that could be just due to age. Well, like, is it or isn't it? Like, could be or is. Okay. So, didn't really get any answers from that, which is frustrating. Because, like, okay, so what's going to happen now? So then they still have her on the IV. After 24 hours, they check her blood. I think her enzymes only dropped by 200 I think they were still at 800 they're like we don't really feel comfortable releasing her yet because that's still really high so let's keep her another night I'm like okay because they had initially quoted me 48 hours hospitalization so I said well okay if this isn't going over the 3300 which is already an insane amount then yeah keep her there like I want to do what's best for her and so they kept her until the next day, which now I think was next, like last Saturday. And, and then they said um, that her enzymes had gone down I think, to 500. And they're like, okay, we feel comfortable releasing her. It's like, that's still really high. That's still like over double what it should be. But I don't know. So they gave us a bunch of medication. We have all these antibiotics. We have these Aventi liver enzymes again, which I'm hoping are helping her. She's eating. She's not getting sick. But I'm nervous. Like, what does this mean? If any of you are vets out there, what do I do? Like, why is this happening? They said it could be, they don't really give me answers. Like, they said it could be an infection. So could it be from the bacterial infection she already had that got worse? Or it could be from toxicity, like she could have eaten something. But like we don't really leave anything laying around. The only thing I could think of is that we had trail mix and maybe we dropped a raisin or something. But we're usually pretty fast acting when it comes to dropping anything and picking it up if it's something that she can't eat. If it's like a carrot or something, we're like, okay, eat it. But yeah, so frustrated because drop 3300 don't even know still what's wrong we have to take her back in to check her levels again but I want to wait until she's done all of these eventy pills they said do it again in a week and I'm like well no like she's still on medication so I want to take her back when she's done those eventy pills and see if they're helping if they are like do I keep her on them <sighs> I don't know I don't know so this was a huge rant, and I'm sorry, but this is why I didn't post a video last week. And also, I decided to wax my upper lip on last last Saturday, I think, or Sunday. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. I remembered that I did have a sensitivity to wax, but I had absolute hives everywhere. All over my upper lip. It turned into basically one big hive. I looked like a Simpsons character. Like, my whole lip looked like this. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> cute. So that's what happened last weekend and good times. Um, Sorry, just to go back to this, I don't think I want to use this. It's just 
like a little 280s. I don't know. I would probably use that on my eyes. But I think right now I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury highlight. It's just a little, a little too much. I don't know. Do I like this blush? I don't know. I thought I would because I thought it was quite similar to the Dior one, but it actually is... The Dior one goes a little warmer on me, which now I think I like. And this one is very cool toned, like very, very. Like all out of all the ones I have, this is definitely the most cool toned. Sorry, this is the Champagne Glow. Like I'll show you what these look like and I'll actually maybe show you a swatch too. So this is the e.l.f. Um, I think this is... Bora Bora. So I'll show you what this looks like swatched. And my hands are really dry, so I apologize. So that's Bora Bora, which I love. Here is the Dior Backstage blush. And I'll show you the comparison. It looks very similar, but this one like adjusts to your ph i'm sure you already know that people talk about it all the time and then this is the flower blush in wild rose so i thought with all of those maybe they would be too similar but it's actually much more like purpley like look how look how much more warm toned that pink looks and this is the so this is Bora Bora. This is the powder for the one size. This is the cream. But yeah, they are quite different actually. So I will swatch the Dior. This one's definitely more pigmented. The one size is more pigmented than Dior. So this is Dior. And then this is Flower. Very similar, but I can tell a difference for sure on my face. So do I want to keep it? I don't know. I saw Babs Beauty do a video on this and she she used the cream and she was like, what the actual hell? It went so weird on her. It went very like lavender. She's like, what just happened? So I'm going to use my Makeup by Mario eyeshadow. And I'm probably just going to go in with like this one and this one first I don't know if I'm gonna film my whole eye look I'll probably just do it and then come back but yeah I don't know what do you think about this blush is it too cool tone too lavender mm. I don't know it's freaking me out so anyways, any vets out there, give me some advice. Tell me what I should do. They're telling me also that I should bring her back in for an ultrasound in like three months. I don't know, maybe to check on the nodule just to make sure that nothing is going on. And they said like, if this didn't work, like these antibiotics and the... Uh, liver enzymes then they would have to investigate further I don't know what that means like biopsy maybe I don't know uh, it's like I just don't want her to go through this like I just want her to be okay I want her to feel good she is eating normally which thank god she is because oh my gosh seeing her sick is seriously the saddest uh, you just feel so bad because you know, with kids, I mean, not babies, obviously, but with kids, they can tell you, like, my stomach hurts, or my head hurts, or blah, 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 but with dogs, you just, you're like, what do I do? How do I make you better? Ah, it's so frustrating. And, yeah, the vet that I went to, everyone is like, why did you go there? It's highway robbery at that place, and it's like, okay, you can judge all you want, but also when it's two, three in the morning and you have nowhere else to go that's open, this is the closest place to me. I just want her to 
I wanted her to get anywhere that could take her. And like, don't judge because I did what was best for my dog at the time. And yeah, I mean, I don't know. And it's so sad. My fiance's parents just had to put their dog down. She was around 12 because she had oral mouth cancer. So sad. They thought she just had like dental issues and I guess they went to go start the dental and saw that she had cancer in her mouth. Hmm. My lips are so dry. Anyway, it's been very emotional with, with our pets lately and it's been super stressful. We haven't been sleeping well. Anytime she moves, I wake up because I'm like, are you going to throw up? Like, I'm just worried now. And yeah, I just, it's just scary. It's stressful. It's stressful financially. It's stressful mentally and emotionally because like, I love her so much. And oh my gosh, like, I can't imagine. Like, I know she's not going to be here forever, but need her to be here for at least another like five years or something like we just got her about five years ago going on six I guess but yeah okay so I think I'm gonna just finish my eyes and then I'll come back and just keep you know ranting away <laughs> be right back I'm back okay so I'm just gonna do my mascara I'm just using the essence the lash princess curl and volume I haven't used this I don't know if I've ever used this one. I used to use the Extreme. I think I have it. I love Extreme. I don't love that one as much anymore. Maybe because I've used different ones. But I wanted to try this. Because I usually use my CoverGirl Exhibitionist. But I'm running out of that one. And I saw this. And I was like, maybe I'll give that one a go. And ooh, it's looking pretty good already. So anyways, I wanted to continue talking. <laughs> I'm very chatty today, if you can't tell. Um, so we've been watching One Tree Hill. I know we're like 20 years late on that, but <laughs> I'm gonna spoil some things. So if you've never seen it and you wanna watch it, even though it's like so old, then click out of here. Sorry, I just saw something. From Armani's back in stock at Sephora. Okay. Um, I think probably a blush. But I just bought 7,000 essence blushes. So I think I'm okay on blush for a while. Probably going to do a video about that next weekend. As long as everything goes according to plan. <laughs> um, yeah, I bought a bunch of the new baked blushes. And the new concealer from Essence. So probably do a review on those maybe I'll just do like a full drugstore get ready with me and use those um obviously I won't be able to use all of the blushes but I'll swatch them and who knows maybe I'll do a short using them but anyway yeah one tree hill <laughs> so my fiance was watching and he was on a trip and he just came back and he was watching it on the plane with his sister and he's like oh my god that show is juicy he's like we need to watch that anytime there's a show that's like very drama filled we're like yes so we started watching it we're on season three again if you don't want a spoiler click out or fast forward this part how are they just gonna let keith die like that <laughs> Like, what the shit? He was an OG cast member. Like, what the hell? So I read up on it. I was like, why did he get killed off? And apparently, apparently, don't sue me, the uh, director was, or creator, producer, sorry. I think the producer was just like, yeah, sorry. You're getting killed off. I think like there was a lot of drama with that guy, the producer. From what I read, okay, this is apparently, this is not 
accurate because I don't know I wasn't there but I was pissed I loved Keith he was so sweet and like they just got engaged and that he was gonna adopt Lucas and then what the shit like how you could kill him off like that he's very upset and his own brother <laughs> kill Dan why has Dan not been killed yet maybe he will be eventually but like damn Anyway, also, I like literally, <laughs> when we're watching the show, I'll be like, oh, this is going to happen. This is going to happen. <laughs> My fiance gets so annoyed because it always does happen. I'm like, why do I write these shows? <laughs> and so Haley and Nathan got in a car accident. Also, I freaking hated Haley when she left him. Like... You're just going to come back and be like, oh, it's all good. No big deal. What is this? I like her again, but <laughs> it's like, that was so stupid. So they got in a car accident and then Cooper, you know, the whole Cooper Rachel thing. If you don't know, <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry for ruining it or I'm sorry for talking about it. If you have literally no idea what I'm talking about, but yeah. I kind of like saw a few spoiler pictures and I'm like, why? It's like sometimes we're just like, oh, I wonder what this person is in now. And then you see spoilers about the show and you're like, damn it, why did I do that? Um, but yeah, and then Brooke is pregnant with Lucas's baby. Brooke, come on, come on, girl. Why weren't you guys using protection? Wait, wasn't she on the pill? I'm confused. How was she pregnant? I guess you can still get pregnant when you're on the pill. But, you know. Anyway. I said to Chris, watch, she's lying. She's actually pregnant. She's gonna go get an abortion. I know it. I know it. And she is. But we don't know what's gonna happen yet. So... Don't spoil it for me. <laughs> okay, so this mascara is good. Is it the best? I don't know. I still think I like my CoverGirl exhibition as the best. It's just really dried out right now. That's the only thing I find with this one is it dries out. Like, I love the hourglass, and that one has an hourglass brush, too. The only thing, yeah, about this one is it dries out so quickly like I feel like I only use it for like two three weeks and I'm already throwing it away I'm like what but I still prefer this to like the tower 28 mascara I really like the tower 28 but I don't know it just doesn't give the volume I want it to give as much as this one does it still does give good volume but you know also, I just found out that my lash serum does contain prostaglandins, and <sighs> damn it. Like, this is one of the cheaper ones that I found that was supposed to be safe. Like, when I've Googled about it, it's like, yes, yeah, safe for eyes, but then it has that prostaglandins, which, like, can mess up your, the coloring of your eyes and, like, the fatty tissue or something around the eye, and it's like, well, that scares me now, so... You can recommend a good one that's like not you know super cheap but like decent this one i think is around 60 canadian but like damn it it, it works so good so i'm sad i know this looks like an obscene amount of mascara but like i said this one is dry i'm really just trying to kind of zhuzh the lashes What do you think i'm going to change my lip do my brows so they're gonna look a little scary when i come back because they always do when i come back i'm like whoa but that's what's gonna happen maybe i'll just like do i add more i don't know so it's just very bright for me i don't know how to feel about it <laughs> but every time i see people wearing it i'm like oh i love that we'll see maybe i might just touch up a little bit of the bronzer on my forehead do my brows, do my lips, and I'll be back.
Okay, so I'm all done, the brows, I'm done the lips. If you're wondering what's on my lips, there's a couple different things. It looks way cooler in my camera than it does in real life, but I did mix this one, which is MAC Act Natural. Like I said in a video previously, this is no longer. They just discontinued it, but if you wanted a good dupe for it, the Sephora Lip Stories in Love Love is like almost an exact dupe. And it's just a little bit shinier. This one's a little bit more matte. And then I just topped it off with the Sephora Collection Cream Lip Stain in the shade 32, which is like a very kind of beigey white shade. And then I just did my brows with my regular Benefit. 24 hour brow setter, um, the NYX blonde lift and snatch. I hate saying that. I don't know. It's just, no. And then the give, I just, with this one, I just underline the bottom. Um, sometimes I'll fill in a tiny bit, but this is the give um, brow pencil. This is called Hella on Point Ultra Fine Brow Pencil, and it's in the shade number two. I got this at Marshall's for $9.99 and it's like 30 bucks. So I was like, hell yeah, coming to Marshall's more often. There weren't a ton. I think that was the only number two that was left. But yeah, I was like, I wanted to try it previously. So I was like, well, <laughs> also I bronzed my ear. Don't forget your ears. I, I was watching back um, part of this video and I was like, oh, my ear is quite white. <laughs> So anyway, sorry, I hope you didn't mind that I have some dryness on my lips. It's bothering me, but whatever. So, okay, to just go over what I used, this is the One Size Cheek Clapper Blush 3D Blush Trio in the shade Attention Seeker. Still torn on this one. I think I need to go look at it in a different light. I like it in my camera. In person, I'm kind of like, ha, huh? huh? ha. It's a little scary. Um, on the eyes, like I said, the makeup by Mario Master Mats palette, and then the Tower Twenty Eight. Undecided. I thought for sure I was gonna bring this back, but now I don't know. I kind of like it. Remember when I said I was done with bronzer? <laughs> I have a problem. So Jones Road shade light tan i have to say i actually do love this formula i love the color looks darker on my uh on the video than it does in real life it does look lighter in real life but i just love the tone but like please give us more product like double it up girl or at least give us like, you know, seven grams, eight grams, like something comparable to all the other bronzers. Like what the heck? 5.7, 5.7. So I'm not being negative because I actually love the product. I'm just letting you know, is it worth your money? I don't know if, if you think it is just for like the quality alone, then do it because the quality is great. And it's beautiful and I love it and I'm probably gonna buy it again if if I finish all the bronzers that I have I'm not gonna buy another one until I've you know hit pan on like my massive Chanel one I love this one this is literally like ten dollars the LA girl back to the beach love this one and it does have kind of a cooler undertone as well so Keep this one in mind if you are looking for something similar, not the same, but similar. My Chanel, I mean, this is also like 15 grams of product, but it was very expensive. Actually, I wanted to check the Guerlain. See, the Guerlain looks like it's not a lot of product because it's a tiny little compact too. And it looks like there's not a lot of bronzer in here, but in fact, I just checked. 10 grams so i wonder if this is similar in tone actually this is light cool so it does have that kind of like pinky vibe to it so 
Where are we gonna swatch it? My arm, maybe? What I like about this one, it does have that kind of like golden-y undertone to it, which just always looks orange in my camera, of course. I'm almost like scared to swatch this one because I don't, <laughs> I want to keep as much product as I can. But just for color sake, this one's actually probably a lot cooler. Yeah, it's a little more cool toned. So that's the difference between the two. I thought they would be similar because this one does have pink, but the pink almost looks like a peachy pink. So, yeah. I'm done with bronzer. Mark my words, I'm done for a while. But oh, this one is really nice. Not patchy, very pretty. So yeah, that's my little quick, not quick, not quick review of these products. The Jones Road Tower 28 and the one size blush let me know what you think and hopefully I didn't bore you to death with my long long chatty get ready with me thank you so much for watching and if you want to see the essence blushes next week and the concealer I am wearing it today then check out my video coming up thank you so much for watching I love ya and subscribe if you're not already Here's just a little video of my sweet little chicken. Oh my god, I love her so much. I just got her this bed. And look at her little shaved tummy because they did the ultrasound. Oh my god, I love her. That's it. Bye. Love ya.